I'm Wolfgang Damm and I'm the lead software architect. Uh, and in that role, I was uh, also the lead for the architect, which is our new offering for developers. Okay, so architect is um, a framework which we built to enable developers to create um, augmented reality experiences that are dynamic. Uh, so, yeah, basically, uh, for rich augmented reality experiences. And the cool thing about Architect is that it's built on uh, standard technologies that, is, uh, that are uh, already used by billions of websites. And those are namely HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, so uh, the first step would be to go to our website, that's uh, wikitude.com, and click on Developers. And there you can download the Architect Developer Kit, which is a package that's, um, that includes everything you need to get started. It has um, the documentation, of course, in it. Uh, there's also some tutorials there, so you can get a feel, a feel on how development works. And there's also the development tools. Um, currently, the, Android mob uh, the Architect Mobile Viewer for Android which is a um, simple tool for Android that's, uh, that allows you to run the, the architect worlds. And there's also the um, desktop engine that allows you to uh, run and debug architect worlds on your desktop browser. Okay, so uh, because we, we have built it with standard web technologies, uh, you can write the HTML files and the JavaScript files just with a normal text editor. But it's recommended, of course, uh, if you have an IDE for web development that you uh, use those IDEs. Okay, so um, basically uh, how it works is that you are writing um, a website, just a normal HTML uh, file. And this website is displayed on top of the camera view. And within this uh, HTML uh, site, you have the possibility to access our JavaScript API. And this JavaScript API allows you to put objects into the augmented reality world. And one of the, uh, this object is the geo object. And that's basically saying um, there should be an object uh, at this and that location, and it should look uh, like that and that. Okay, so uh, we just touched the very basics like a geo object, but there is a lot more in, uh, in the architect for developers. Um, for example, you, you have triggers where you can react on user interaction with the object. And uh, you can, for example, which is not possible with any other uh, solution, uh, react if an object uh, comes into the field of vision uh, of the user. And that's pretty nice because then you can display automatically uh, more information to an object and, and su such things. And of course, we have a, a multimedia functionalities built in, audio, video. Yeah, and um, as for the future, there's, um, yeah, it's just a start. And we're thinking of uh, like including image recognition, uh, uh, 3D objects and, and uh, more on the side of video. Okay, so we have um, the ADK out for, um, I think, two months now. And we, in, the f in the last month, we really saw the, the increase of usage. Um, yeah, and uh, for feedback, um, we get a lot of feedback concerning um, things to improve or um, what people are doing or what want to do with the architect. So that's really great and we are always um, yeah, grateful for any feedback from the developer community because, well, we built this tool for the developers. Um, yeah, so. Yes, of course, uh, we are uh, currently um, just before releasing or uh, announcing the iPhone uh, version of Architect. So there will be an iPhone version and uh, with other operating system probably following.
we started with ARML as our format for um, providing static po points of interest information. And uh, recently we started to work with the OGC to standardize the ARML, but also for dynamic um, uh, interaction. So uh, actually changing the poise and, and putting, um, yeah, um, richer experiences in augmented reality. And uh, with this effort, it helps us uh, to get uh, the architect to developers to see what they uh, want to do with augmented reality. And also, um, it is our basis for the uh, augmented reality markup language standard 2.0. Okay, thank you very much.